outstanding. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to another tutorial video. It's a boy El Dorado. Been a while since we haven't done any Pro Tools video. So, on this particular video, I want to stress the fact about um, vocal chain again. I'm going to show you a vocal chain, simple but very effective and thing. So, let me scroll down here so. And mark a section of this vocal. Yeah. So basically one more I have to show now. I just this um vocal chain I'm already have here and this particular vocal and thing. I'm gonna play a piece side. Them a pre 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 but me na pre them bad vibes them a try send and my life them a try end them tubular bill still on with uh bell bell tubular bell yes we give some of this reverb so mute that them a pre 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 but me na pre them bad vibes them a try send and my life them a try end so but mute it with all the effect on it them a pre, 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 but me na pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. And my life, them a try end. Alright, so as far as vocal um, recordings go, goes for this particular track, some audio leakage from the headphone um, was was heavy in the in the track in which I had to... Um, use the audio restoration plugin and got rid of most of got rid of uh most of the leakage that is happening in the vocal but anyways it still turned out good and thing as you know the life of an engineer the work of an engineer if you just use what he, the tools that he have best at his disposal and i can guarantee that many of you watching this video are not using audio restoration plugins on your vocal to get rid of certain element like headphone um, bleed inside of the, 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 the device and thing so beyond that same year, um due to the nature of some studio you cannot be avoided sometimes the beat of the very speaker um it, it is turned up very low during the recording session in which um the beat and thing we've reached back into the the the, the headphone or in the microphone i mean and thing but beyond that still you know there are things that beyond our control and thing but as a um mixing engineer you need to inform your client that such and such is happen, happening during the recording and things so see if you can even advise the the the, 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 the tracking engineer to be mindful of the next project they might send conky and thing um mute as well so we'll play the vocal again without the stereo mix them a pre 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 but me na pre them bad vibes them a try send and my life them a try end them a pre them a pre them a pre them a pre so me if turn off the things on the mix bus them a pre, 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 but me na pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send, and my life, them a try end. So you realize the raw vocal I'm really I work with, I know. So first and foremost, what I did for this particular track is I trim it about four dB because it was um it it to me it did a bit too hot. The vocal really record hot and thing in which sometimes in many cases it may good sometimes it may bad but then again you have to think about gain staging when you come on to your vocals and thing so you know that applying certain and certain amount of um plugins may 
have a lot to do with the gain. So, you know, when you are there with gain staging, I suggest you, 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 you trim some of the, vo the volume. Why my microphone not behave this way? Some of the volume. Some of the volume of the actual vocal. Give me a minute. Okay. Strange. Yeah, as I was saying, trim some of the volume of the vocal so it's really low and um you do gain staging after. As you can see there's a quite a num a numerous amount of bypass plugins or inactive plugins in which you know mixing and trying things you know you know really work out so to have them there still as a constant reminder sh reminder should in case you know me draw back for them um in the future or at the time we are mixed and think we don't have to delete and put on and all of these things so first what i did for this particular vocal i had a waves c6 and what i did was to deport some harsh frequency in the 4k that i was hearing very unpleasant sound there them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Let's see, me can pull up on EQ. Um. Oh god. Let's see, me can pull up. Pull up on EQ. Alright. So somewhere in the 4K, boost it. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. And my life, them a try end. That was the sound was did a bug me. Yeah, the particular um track. So what I did was to deport some of it. Them a pre, them a pre, them a pre, them a pre, them a pre. This is a multi band compression. But it has control like a dynamic EQ. So I dipped out that frequency and added a little compression across this band and that band. Because adding, like for instance, uh, the stock compressor from, from, from Avid, you know, that it compresses everything one time. But with a uh, multi band compression, you can set where compression really start and stop and particular bands of you know your 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 your, your actual plugin so i have four bands here in which you know they are all compressing at different different rate so we have uh, more control over the compression that is really taking place for this particular plugin so next after this I added a DSR because the S is was sticking out. So I added a DSR. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try end. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try end. All right, there is some background vocal turn off that anyways after that i added a pro q2 you know me use this eq religiously and what i did i high pass filter very sharp at 60 hertz and i dipped out about four um decibels at 180 hertz in which it did have a really boxy tone i never really like so i dipped out a lot of it and there was some box frequency right here I mean, never really like so I dipped out about two this almost a, a db and a half minus a db and a half um gain reduction and you know as i can see these things we really turn them on and off you know trying to get the right thing for the vocal so i don't really delete like where i made my points and stuff is just that 
whenever I pull up about the EQ or whatever software that I'm using and thing is like I can't really remind myself, say alright, we do this already, so it's not gonna work. Or we probably do it and do it wrong, so we can make adjustments from here and thing. But other than that, let me just turn them off and thing. So I half pass filter and make some cuts in the low mid frequencies and thing. So this is it how it sound before. Them a pre, them a pre, them a pre, them a pre, them. And this is how it sound after. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. And my life, them a try end. Yeah. So after that, I added a CLA two A from Waves to give it some more some compression. But at the at the very same time, this particular plugin emulates warmth and thing. It's modeled from a tube compressor, that's a two-way compressor and thing. So I turn off the analog because we don't really need it, that, that vintage sound on this particular vocal. We really need this um, vocal to be very clean and precise and thing. So I just compress it uh, about three to five dB compression. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. And my life, then my try end. Well, you have to really mindful that this type of compression have a slow release, so you really have to really mindful how much you really um, re reduce or compress and how much you make up in gain and stuff. I can't get really weird because it's just too now when you really have much compression. I think the higher the compression is, is more the ratio change and thing. So you really have to be careful with compressions like these and thing. I've seen people slam this compressor really hard and it really sound musical in which sometimes it sound really distorted and weird but using it this type of compression the right way you get a really really juicy and nice pleasing sound. So beyond this I added another Pro Q2 and I boost about 2 2k and I dipped out around same 3k because after the compression some more low sound really come up some really dip out some more and there was some nasal frequency some really notched out those a bit so this is how it sound um without them a pre 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 but me nah pre them and this is how it sounds with them a pre 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 but me nah pre them without them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. With? Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. But yeah, so it 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 is a it is really clear as far as I can see and think so. That is a very simple um vocal chain where you can really get results and think. And you know it it really sound nice where your vocals is concerned and it really sound clean. So um listening to your vocals and identifying the, 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 the main the main problems with the vocal is really essential because at the end of the day, um you have to be mindful of the really ma the material really are sent out here and thing. So Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for, you know, take the time off really watch this video in which I'm going to really finish it. So, I mean, <laughs> then move on in, in other video and things. Then, on, I have three different bus here in which I have two lead vocal and lead vocal combination in which this is parallel. Um, compression. I use a lot of parallel compression to mix and thing. Uh, added a R box to pull the vocal forward in the mix. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Added a L2 because L2 has a bit of a coloring, but some me not really wanted a clip or anything like that. So me just put it on it for you know safekeeping and thing. So me now I'm gonna leave it at zero and thing, but yeah, it adds a, a bit a weird color to it and thing. So I'm gonna leave it as is parallel compression. 
um, other DSR, leave it as is. Just put it on here and leave it as is. Don't change anything on it. Uh, added a Saturn. Um, what you call it? I know. Yeah, I pretty much put every these on it and leave it as is. Except for this, I did some really weird EQing and things to kind of give it some body, control the box the frequencies, boost some presence, and give it some air. So this is how it sounds with the EQ and all of these on it. They my pre, them my pre, them my pre, them my pre, them my pre, but me nah pre them. Um, and I added a bus compressor on it also. They my pre, them my pre, them my pre, them my pre, them my pre, but me nah pre them. Give it a little tiny bit of compression, and I added this on it also for, you know. CFT because I, I really hate um, digital distortion. I don't really like to hear it. So that basically it's for this particular vocal and thing. So we go play the track and of what. Let you guys hear what I'm going. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try end. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try. Me sit said the pussy, them a try a thing, but it nah work, ja work, so I me a win. Them a pre, 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 but me nah. Freedom, bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try end. Them a pre, 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 but me nah pre them. Bad vibes, them a try send. A my life, them a try. Me sit said the pussy, them a try a thing, but it nah work, ja work. So this simple vocal chain over here, you know, as simple as it can get, you know, really want to overdo. The process is that thing because the more you process the vocals, is the more it gets really fragile. But you want to be precise with the, with, with the processing. You just fling on plug in on it and just all right, this do this, that do that, that do that. Yes, this do this and that do that. But at the, at the end of the day, you really have the precise with the tool and know the tools that you do you use and things. So I would suggest doing a lot of research. Um. See if you can find out what model, what the plugins are modeled off. If you can get that information online and so forth and really know the characteristics of your plugin while using it and things. So, best suggestion, do so, just do some research on plugins that you really use or really have already. So, without further ado, thanks for tuning in again. I really hope this really helps you out a lot. And, you know. Happy mixing and things. So, uh, leave some comments below. Below, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. Um, join our WhatsApp community and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Elorado Production. So, until next time again. Hope we can really show you something really interesting and things. So, until them time, there. Peace out. Bless. One love.